flow of events provides the best approach for analysts to capture and document user flows, in which analysts sometimes need to refer to data structures. When they do, they probably would manually type in the references. But if there's any changes made to the data structures later on, the reference will become outdated. Here we have a simple use case diagram, and we're going to create a class diagram from this use case process order. To do that, select the use case, click the button that says Sub Diagrams, select Add, Other Diagrams, UML Diagrams, and lastly, Class Diagram. And then if you click on the background, you see the diagram name. And initially, it is named after the use case process order. Let's just leave it as it is for now. To draw our first class, drag class from the diagram toolbar onto the diagram. Let's name this class customer. Hit return. And we are going to add three attributes to it. To do that, right click on it. Select Add Attribute, enter name, hit return, and then address, hit return, tell for telephone number, hit return. Once done, just hit the Escape key. Next, we'll create a relationship to another class. Select the class here and click on this icon and drag it to the right, name this order, press enter, and we'll add two attributes here. And the first one is order number, and the next one is remarks. Hit return, hit the escape key when you're done. To indicate the multiplicity of this entity here, double-click on this end, and over here select asterisk. Now we're done with the class diagram. Let's go back to the use case diagram by clicking this link here. Next, we're going to create the flow of events. To do that, right-click on the use case and select Open Use Case Details. Under the Flow of Events tab, we'll type in the user flows. So let's say we we'll type in Log In to the System, and then hit Return, and next we have Click New Order, and next we have Select Customer, and hit Return. Next, we'll specify the flow under the Select Customer part. To do that, we're going to click Indent here, and we'll type in Search Customer by... Now, we're going to add a, a class attribute. To do that, right-click and select Add Class, and then just expand it here, and this one here. Let's say we want to search by name, so click OK, and let's add a space here. We want to search by name or the address, so right-click here again, select Add Class, expand it, and look for address, and then click OK. And now we've just made references to the class attribute name and address. Now let's say we make some changes to the class here. Instead of name, we have customer name. And then hit return. Let's see what it looks like in the use case details. As you can see, the update gets reflected automatically.